What if I told you that the next heat wave or smoke filled sky is not just bad air? It may raise your stroke risk and strain the very stroke system that is meant to save you. Today, I'll show you how climate change can increase stroke risk, who is hit hardest, and what you can do right now. When temperature rises, so do strokes. For every single degree Celsius increase in temperature, stroke rates go up one to 2%. But heat isn't the only problem. Up to 20% of the world's 15 million new strokes every year are linked to air pollution exposure. Well, let me show you what's actually happening inside your body when you're exposed to this stuff. First, your blood literally changes. When you're hot and dehydrated, your blood gets thicker, you lose electrolytes, and your heart rhythm can become unstable. It's almost like your cardiovascular system is running on overdrive. Second, those tiny particles you're breathing, they become weapons. Every breath of polluted air triggers a cascade of inflammatory events, and this accelerates the buildup of plaque inside of your arteries. So let me paint you a picture of where we're headed next. The next time there's a massive heat wave or a wildfire, more people are likely to have strokes. And when they do, the systems might be disrupted or delayed. And the people who need help the most, the elderly, individuals in low to middle income countries, they're the least likely to get care on time. This is the world we're walking into, unless we change the course right now. The first thing, it's important to know your risks. Always check your weather network apps, heat alerts, and the air quality index. Adjust your routine and lower exposure. Plan exercise indoors. Limit outdoor exertion and follow local guidance because there will be another heat wave. There will be another wildfire season. And when they come, you're going to remember this video.